So I had a little bit of camera difficulties and, well, lost heap of footage. Uh, don't worry, wasn't the best footage in the world. Basically, you see me go from this wrapped up in plastic to the tools. So I was sort of, don't know how I'm gonna edit it and work it all out, but you don't really need to know about the box. You wanna know what's inside of it. So see what happens, see what we come up with. So there you have it. This is how you can put it on your kitchen side counter, you know, and you know, wherever you you keep these advent calendars, and you can go through and number one's up the top there, and you can just run your way through it. Not bad. Um, I'm not going to go through and go one by one, as is wasting everybody's time. I'll pull the back out, slide it out, and we'll just see what's happening. See here we have the innards and all its glory. 2.5. I do like 2.5. It's insulated as well. This is. Fit right in my kit. Little choker with the 10 mil. Uh, I always lose these 10 mils. I use it a lot for conduit clips and stuff and they go away. The eight, I never use, but 10's a worthy addition. I've never used a joker spanner. Um, I guess this bit's just for, uh, I guess this internal bit's just for a bit of grip. 100%, I've never actually looked at a Weirra Spanner to own or buy. Like, I've got some of their little ratchets for sockets and stuff. I've got a lot of their screwdrivers. I write their screwdrivers. Never looked into that. So, I'm going to have a look. I'm going to get all this out, assemble it, how the kit is, because they always send it like a kit. And once once that's done, we'll, uh, we'll have a look. So, you get this case. We really love these little cloth cases. It's very European, I feel, but I don't know. It's every, each to their own. Uh, they give you a Phillips. So for regular size screwdrivers, they give you a Phillips number one, standard size. They give you a Posi number one and a insulated 2.5. 2.5 is a nice little good size, quite precise. Uh, fits in nearly every single terminal whatever you need if you need an insulated screwdriver for it. And then you also get a 3.5 non-insulated flat, handy little screwdriver. You can have about too many screwdrivers. They're standard, they're not that exciting. What I really wanted was these, and uh, I didn't really look into it that much. I thought, oh, that's cool, let's check it out. So you get a Phillips 00 and a Phillips 0. Very happy with them, like they'll come in a lot of handy. Then you get a 2.5 and a 3 in these ultra slim line, long handle, you know, precision bits. I was sort of expecting, you know, small sizes in the flat blades. You know, like there is stuff that you need smaller blades than that, but it is what it is. We're dealing with what we're dealing with. And then in the torques, we've got some nice real small torque sizes, four, five, six, and eight. That's all good. They give you the bottle opener. People who like to collect these. They love bottle openers. I think Weir is a real big fan of bottle openers. This has got to be my, my third or fourth bottle opener I've got off them. And I'm not a massive Weir head. I am collecting more and more, but I'm not like a, a fiend for it. But yeah, you know, people collect these like mad, like big time. This little bit holder, it's uh, plastic, got a little, you know what I mean? Little, yeah, you, you get a, again, Phillips one and two, Posi one and two. They're big on the Posi this year. They're, I mean, just nine times out of 10, people won't have anything Posi, unless I'm wrong and there's a lot more out there than I think. People don't use Posi fixings in anything or, uh, the only time I ever come across it is in uh, circuit breakers, really. And that's quite rare itself. And then you get Torx 20 and Torx 25, so. Little bits like this are always handy. Also comes with this little bit. Goes in there for putting it in your drill or attaching it to anything else you have. Oh, big fan of these little interchangeable bits, really cuts down on weight. And uh, the best thing about this is 
I could say get rid of whatever I want and put in whatever I want and still have a small thing. Uh, I recently got um, a King Chrome version. I used to buy these old cheapy. So, I used to get cheap sets like this. Same sort of thing. You know, you get these for about five bucks, depending on who puts their brand on it and how much they're trying to sting you. Uh, big fan of these, disposable, get rid of them. You're not too upset if you break one or you lose one. But having said that, I've recently been running a King Chrome one, which is 10 times the quality, 10 times everything. Like, really like it a lot. And down onto the Joker. Um, I genuinely don't know what their gimmick is here. I've not played one of these, and it seems silly, but I don't know. Let's get a something six mil or ten mil nut, and we'll have a look. Come over here. It's got to be something. Eight mil. Surely, I have something. There'll be five mil stuff. It says six mil. Damn boy. Ah, this has to be. What is it? It's an eight, eight mil diameter, but it'll be six mil thread, so that's a ten mil head. Raji, Raji, Raji. So, I think this, this might be a gimmick using these little teeth here for extra grip. And then you've got all this. You can see, you can sort of put it on anyway. See how? Yeah, I see what they've done here. So I had a Daytona like this, one of the gimmicks. I had a big magnet on the back, big red. It just all it did was attack, attack. <clears throat> all it did was attract swarf and whatnot. But I'll get back to these. I'm going to do a bit of research on these and work out what their uh, gimmick is and if it's worth it. I might pick up a set, even though my old King Chrome set's doing quite well. One thing I did notice on all the posies is they got that wearer. Uh, I don't know what their little brand name for it is, but the little grippy indentations. I tried these out with a wearer set before and I could actually pick up a whole bit of wood uh, just with the grip strength of it themselves with those little notches. Uh, I was quite impressed. So now what we really want to know and what we want to look at is pricing, value for money. How much did all of this cost in this set and are you getting any value for money out of it? I'm gonna start off, I'm just gonna go run through a basic price list of what I think. I think this ratchet, to buy it individually, it's hard to get a price on this, but it's about 20 bucks, give or take. All right, these are gonna be rough prices. This bit set, it's about 20 bucks. You get different variations of bit sets, but for a Wear R7 bit set, in this same sort of case, about 20 bucks. Higher, lower. Roughly. Bottle opener, we're not gonna include at all because it's gotta be some part of this has gotta be on the like you know bonus side. Magnetizer, they sell their magnetizers for about 20 bucks. So again, we're hitting the $20 mark. Uh, each of these screwdrivers will be about $10 each, so that's another 30 bucks. This, you pick these up between 15 and 20, but let's just say about 15. For the bit set, like for micro driver set, I can go through these individually, but that's gonna jack the price right up. Uh, to get like a, about an eight bit bit set, you're looking around the $60 mark from Wira. So based on Wira's prices, and if you were to assemble this yourself, obviously the case and the bottle opener are not included, just the tools, you're looking at about $165. This is all Aussie I'm talking, and these are random amounts. So. The price point is about on par with the normal wear tax you'd pay. So it's up to the individual whether they want to pay for this sort of stuff or whether they're into this sort of stuff. Uh, I do rate wear screwdrivers highly, and when I saw that there was a lot of precision bits in there, I jumped at the, jumped at the mark to get this. I thought, you beauty. I love last year's calendar. That was awesome. This year, I was like, yes, thank you. Hopefully next year, they read my mind and know exactly what I'm looking for as well. For me, 160 bucks. No brainer. These are a little bit redundant in my life. So I take 30 bucks of value out of there. 
This is fairly redundant, but we'll find use because I always need a good 10 mil. Uh, handy. I do love these, I always love having these, but redundant-ish in my life, so I'm buying something I don't really need when I, this is added in. So you take out that, that, that. For me personally, this kit was really worth, uh, maybe 80 bucks, 90 bucks. So they haven't really ripped me off, they've just managed to sell me stuff I don't need for what? I normally would think of a fair price if I wanted it. I just wouldn't need it. So really at the end of the day, whether this kit's worth buying or whatever, if it's a gift, yeah, why not? No one's gonna say no. And if they're into that sort of stuff, you're probably gonna knock it out of the park. If it's uh, for yourself, are you getting stuff you don't need? Might be good stuff, but do you really need another bit set and another screwy? I mean, This is how my screwdriver drawer looks now, mostly nut drivers. This is how my screwdriver drawer looks now because the rest of them were everywhere spread out throughout my life. But I've still got them all. And I've got little, you know, bit sets and I have. Do I need more? No. Do I want more? As a fucking literally. If you like calendar videos, I'm gonna go pick up a couple of other calendars. Uh, King Chrome does them one every year, and I'm probably going to do a giveaway with the King Chrome one because uh, easy enough. So with that, cheers! Thanks for watching, and uh, we've got plenty more videos coming up. A lot in the works, so just have to be patient until they get finished. Thanks for watching. Cheers. As I was saying, Wira loves their bottle openers. It's, it's it's like someone starts up a Kickstarter and they make the uh, the new fancy tool. Like, you know, this the one tool does everything. This shovel that can terminate cables and, you know, pump up the tyre in your car. Like, the, the one shovel to rule them all, cam accessory. Or, you know, this is the last tool you'll ever need. Fucking some bracelet thing or whatever. Always got a bottle opener. Where is always got a bottle opener? People love bottle openers.